Hey adventurers, today we are doing a tag that we were tagged in, I don't know, it's been a couple months now, from, we were tagged by Megan's Reading Revelations to do the Fantasy Character Tropes book tag. This is a tag where they give a fantasy character trope and then kind of base a book off of, or a prompt off of that trope. The Chosen One, a book you'd recommend to everyone. For my answer to this, I went with The Giver by Lois Lowry. I have recommended this to everyone as it is already, but it's it's just such a great book, such a interesting look or way to look at a potential future for America and for the world as a whole, I guess. And it's it's just really interesting. I It's one of my all-time favorite books for sure. The book I chose is Operation Grindel by Daniel Schwabauer. This is a story that I really loved and I would recommend it to a really large audience because I don't think what's great about it is specific to the genre. I think it spans a lot. I think it would span a lot of tastes. The Secret Air, a book that surprised you, turned out to be more than you expected. For me, this was The Old Man in the Sea. I could have used this question for, or this answer for number one, but I decided to go with number, with it for the, the Secret Air question because I went into it having heard all my life that it was a slow, boring read and was absolutely blown away with it. It's super short and just an amazing read. I chose Fail State by John Audy. I thought this was a really, really great book. It was a superhero story, one that, um, something you don't see a whole lot in an actual novel form, or at least I don't, and it was really well done and I loved the characters and I was pulled along for the story. So. That's a book that surprised me because I didn't know what to expect going into it and it was a little bit bigger and I was, I just wasn't sure and I was really happily, I was really pleased with it. The Evil Overlord, a book that was poorly executed slash a book that fell flat. For me this was a book specifically that fell flat for me, other people I know really enjoy it, but that is A Time to Die by Nadine Brandes. It just didn't work for me, it wasn't, for, this book wasn't for me. On a very similar vein, I chose Scor The Scorpio Races by Maggie Stiefvater, a book that I know people absolutely love, and I just, just wasn't just wasn't the book for me. The Reluctant Hero, a book you are not sure you want to read. My answer for this is The Dead Zone by Stephen King. I also have Dracula that I could have thrown on here, but I went with this one because it's one that I've had on my shelf, and I've, I, it's only been on my shelf for about a year, but I've kept thinking, oh, I need to read this, oh, I need to read this, and I haven't gotten to it yet. It's one that I do want to read, because I've heard that it's a decent starting point to Stephen King, but I haven't gotten there yet, and I'm not sure if I'm going to like horror, so I'm not sure if I'm going to actually enjoy this book, so I'm not sure if I want to read it. I chose The Three Musketeers by Alexander Dumas. I'm familiar with the story of The Three Musketeers, and I do like it in other mediums, but after reading A Count of Monte Cristo, and being just overwhelmed by the story itself and the length of it, I'm really hesitant to to even think about reading this one. I don't I don't know if I will. The Lucky Novice, a great debut. So I fully suspect you can guess what book this is going to be, but Dawn of Wonder by Jonathan Renshaw. This is his debut novel. I think it's his debut novel anyways, I'm pretty sure it is. And I was blown away with how good it was. It's it's a fairly chunky book, it's about seven hundred pages long, but I absolutely loved it. It was the middle section slowed down a little bit, but the beginning and the end were absolutely amazing. I chose Broken Arrow by Azaria M.J. Durant. This is her debut novel, and I thought it was a fantastic novel, and it should get more um, recognition and more hype. The Mentor, a book that's formative to your life. Again, I fully suspect you can guess what book that this is going to be, but The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. If you've watched the channel much, you've know, you know how much I love this book and how it kind of influenced my reading from the time that I first read it in 2012 or something like that it was the first time I read it and since then I've read it six times I want to say so it's definitely one of my favorite books and one of the books that has influenced me the most. So I chose Little Women for this book because it's one of those stories I've read since I was a child and I've loved it and I really appreciate all the little lessons that are in here so the Animal Companion, a book that broke your heart, or a book that makes you smile. So when I read this question to preparing for this video, the first book that popped into my mind was The Adventures of Harold and the Purple Crayon by Crockett Johnson, or written and illustrated by Crockett Johnson. I don't know why this decided to pop into my brain, but this is one that I've had since I was a kid and 
for some reason I absolutely love this story. So that's the first, that's the one that popped in my mind on a little bit different note. I recently read The Wingfeather Saga by Andrew Peterson and while reading the On the Edge of the Dark Sea of Darkness I just remember smiling at certain lines just being happy with the way that word or phrases were worded and stuff like that. I chose The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. This is a story that both made me smile because there were some really endearing areas of it and it it broke my heart in a little bit. It's a little bit of a bitter, it's not a little bit. It is a bittersweet story um, and there's a lot of heartache that goes along with it, but yeah, that's the story I chose. So those are all the prompts for this fantasy character tropes book tag. If you wanna do it, please do so. I forgot to look and find somebody to tag, so we'll just stick with this. Thank you guys for watching an Airdite Adventure. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and comment down below. We will see you guys again next time. Stay warm. Well.